Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Robert from Helton's Computer Repair. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can replace an HP 14-BW065NR. It's a beautiful cracked screen, so let's go ahead and get started. Alright guys, go ahead and remove that charger. We will not need that on the laptop. Next thing you're going to have to do is probably remove that battery. If you do have a battery, go ahead and do remove that. You want to discharge any current power onto that disk place. So, having power on those wires and disconnecting them could mess up your physical board. After that, go ahead and flip it over and let's continue and press the power button to discharge the power. Next, you will need to get a spudger. You can get this tool from iFixit. I will go ahead and give you the link below for you. And so they just start popping off the plastic that's holding on there. It's pretty much just bezel that holds it on there on the laptop. It doesn't have any screws that's holding it. But on the bottom, it does have some adhesive. So you will need to be a little careful of not breaking it. a heat gun to take that plastic off. It does have some adhesive there. If you not put too much, if you get it super hot, it will mess up that plastic. Do be careful. Alright, I was able to get that plastic off. You see it did have some adhesive there that was holding it. I'm going to go ahead and take out that little piece that's not needed to be in the way. And let's continue. Next, there will be four screws that is holding the display there. As you see again, I'm showing you the tools that has the screwdriver. I will give that link again before I fix it. It's a regular Phillips screwdriver. And we're going to go ahead and remove these four screws. It has a piece of metal that is linked with the display that holds it in place. So it's not a difficult one to do. Usually sometimes you have to unplug it and there's some screws on the side too but this is no problem at all. And next, just slowly get your hands from behind that display and there you have it. I'm going to go ahead and use that spudger again and slowly just pop up that adhesive that's pretty much just tape is what it is and it's holding on that wire. Try and be careful, do not hurt the connections because if you do mess it up, you would have to order a replacement one and then you would have to take the laptop apart. So there's that old display. And here is the new one and I will actually give you the link where you can get this here. I am an Amazon affiliate right here, so this will help me out if you do want to purchase it through there. Also, if not, if you don't want to have that option through Amazon, I will also give you a link for them. Um, an awesome site called LaptopScreens.com. Um, that is where I've had bought parts for many years with no problems at all. They come with lifetime warranty. And next, let's go ahead and start connecting the cable back. Again, be careful. Do not force it in there. If you're doing it angled or wrong, you could mess up that system. And pretty much it's getting stuck in there. And you can pop it back on place. It seems I had it a little slightly off, so let's go ahead and pull that back correctly again. And then next I'm just going to put some regular tape just to hold that in place. I don't want it to get disconnect. And let's start reversing the step, putting the display back on there. I'll probably go ahead and just power on the laptop just to check to be sure that it works. Um, first I'm probably going to put a couple of screws without the display falling off. I don't think you would want that to happen while you're working on it. So let's continue and start putting the screws. I put a couple screws just to hold the display right now to see if this system will actually work.
and it seems that the screen is turning on, so I'm going to go ahead and continue putting the screw on there. Don't forget to also unplug that charger. You don't want that to be plugged in while you're actually working on it still. Anything could happen. You know. Alright, so be careful again with that wire. You don't want to mess it up. Next, I'm going to check the screws to be sure everything worked. I don't want them to be loose and have problems later. And next, it is the bezel. Before putting the bezel, I'm actually going to move that plastic that's on the display. That keeps it clean without getting scratches or anything like that. I'm just going to move it out of the way. And I don't want to have fingerprints on it right now. And slowly start popping in the bezel on there. Do not force it, it could have problems later on. Right now I'm not really popping it fully in place right now, I'm just kind of just lining it up. I'm then going to pretty much remove that plastic that's putting it in. There we go. No fingerprints, look how clean that is. Now I'm going to start popping the bezel back in place again. Do not force it, if you do force it you could pretty much crack it, break it, um, have problems, pushing too much tension on so if you're pushing on a display, you don't know, you would want to break your LCD all over again. So now I'm going to go ahead and put the battery in place. We already tested it before that the system does work. Go ahead and close it in. Don't forget to lock it. I had a moment right there. And let's continue on. Let's see if the system will power up. Don't forget to plug in the charger. It was dead. Let's see. And here's the display. And it seems that it works. I'm just making sure also if the operating system works. Sometimes people usually have a cracked screen and then somehow they're, we replace that part, but yet the operating system doesn't work. Well, sometimes it happens to be like dropped the laptop or you cracked the screen or something. You, you understand, there could be multiple different ways that it happened. But it seems that that uh, pretty much the operating system is loading. So everything does look good. Thank you for watching from House's Computer Repair, and I'll see you on another video. Don't forget to also subscribe to our um, channel. It would really help us out. We're trying to get up to that 10,000 mark right there that can put some advertisement from Teesprings. So, again, thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.